Oh, 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 oh. I don't look like a pale blob on camera. Oh, I don't know what my arms are doing today. How lovely. Sophomore year, I feel like, is that one weird year, but okay. Different video. We'll talk about sophomore year another time. <laughs> Zoe back again with another video today. So before we get started, I'd like to say I'm sorry for the quality. Today's raining and on top of that, my window, which is the only source of natural light I have, was reflecting repeatedly off my glasses. Sorry for that. I had a text. I have friends. Good! <laughs> and so it was either choose reflecting glasses or this weird coloration, so I apologize. In an attempt to fix that, I tried turning my camera a different way but it didn't really work, so we're just going to go with what we have. So today, because it is almost the end of the year, my school gets out a little bit earlier than everyone else. We get out May 25th or something. Yeah, it's May 25th. Around May 25th. We get out around May 25th. And so because of that, and the fact that May is next month, so I'd like to make a video about things that I've noticed, and along with my friend, who is the one who's actually texting me right now, we both noticed happened at the end of the school year. So. Let's get started. So, one thing we've kind of noticed that teachers do towards the end of the year is they pile on all the work they were supposed to get done at the beginning of the semester. Like, towards the beginning, they're like, ah, we got plenty of time. We'll get this in, kids. You'll be great. You'll have your grades in. We'll do fine. And then they get to, like, end of March, beginning of April, and they're like, oh, we were supposed to have a certain amount of tests, quizzes, and daily grades in. Let's do that right now. Which is good for some of us like me who are really trying to get their grades up, up, up. But not so good for those of you who, while you're trying to get your grades up, 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 are not really good at getting them up, up, up. So either this usually ends in someone either passing the class with flying colors or failing miserably. Good luck to those of you out there. The second thing I've noticed is. Students either do basically one of two things. They either get super lazy and chill and are like, nah, brah, end of the year, I don't need to worry. Or they're like, I have to study. And they're like, do you have that one friend who's literally surviving on 15 cups of coffee a day? If so, please get them help immediately. And as for the lazy friend, encourage them to keep up their grades and their conduct just till the end of the year, please. But so we all have those people and then there are some of us who are just in the middle. But Usually students basically either go with, nah bro, I'm chiller, I'm surviving on 15 cups of coffee. Next thing I've noticed we all do is we all start begging for extra credit. Even though we were given chances throughout the entire year. But towards the end we're like, please, extra credit, I'm begging you, I need this now, please. And then of course the teachers are like, I gave it to you early in the semester. So, I mean, there's not much to say about that other than that's kind of awesome not taking the extra credit options, but that's okay, because we're all human and we're all at fault. Hopefully my camera is better in focus now. I focused it, so hopefully it'll be working better. But the last thing I've noticed is we all are running way low on supplies. Here, like, I'm set. I've got all my pencils and my erasers and everything. At the beginning of the year, you're over to your phone like, hey, can you give me some paper? I'm out. I, what happens? There has got to be some school supply fairy that just takes things from us. That is the only logical explanation for the disappearances of the school supplies. We literally have enough to cover the year and more. I have a pile right now under my desk of just paper, my friends. Paper and note cards from past years of school. But so we're all running out of the supplies we need and have plenty of the supplies we don't need. I have plenty of paper. I'm good. I don't need any more paper. You can stop cutting trees. I have got the world's paper under my desk. Pencils on the other hand? I'm out. Please send me your pencils. I need the pencils. I need the erasers. I have plenty of pens, paper, whatever. Pencils? The one utility I do use? Not enough. It's not all there. It's so weird how the end of the school year goes. Everything just goes up and down and it's all crazy. 
and it's just good to be at the end of the year. This year, being in high school for the first time has been weird because I know so many more of the seniors and it's weird thinking they're going to go graduate. So, I guess at the end of the video I have a special message for you seniors, which is good luck out in the world. You're not with the freshmen and the sophomores and the juniors anymore. You're graduating and becoming a freshman or a sophomore or a junior in college if you go to college. And if not, that's totally fine. But I just want to say good luck to you guys and enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy not being in high school anymore. Um, it's a weird thought that I'm going to that point as well. For all you freshmen out there, we're all heading to that point as well of graduating, which is really weird to think of. But good luck to you seniors and enjoy it. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video. I refocused my camera one more time so we'll see how that goes. Seniors, good luck. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, good luck, juniors. Be good senior leaders. Sophomores, be good junior leaders. And freshmen, be good sophomore leaders. Alright, bye guys. I hope you have a great day. I will see you next time. Leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and tell me your ideas, guys. I would love to hear what you're saying. Oh, one more thing. So, Red Nose Day is, I believe, May 26th, and it's to raise awareness for basically what they're, and it's to raise awareness for kids who don't have education or health or insurance and stuff like that, I believe. Don't quote me on that or anything. But so, today I got this little red nose from Walgreens. And you can go buy them to help support this cause. It'll be on the 26th of May and, and I think they should be showing up something on TV, so go check that out as well. I hope you have a great day. And I think as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. So just ideas for colors, whether they're crazy or normal, I would love to hear your ideas in the comments below. And also for new hairstyle ideas, I'm thinking about doing something, either I want to grow my hair super long, or I want to cut it shorter, still keeping it fairly long, but shorter. So I hope you guys have a great day, see you next time, love you, bye!